Being sick is one of the worst feelings that anyone could experience. And it's not just because of the intense physical pain. It's also the pain of the uncertainty of what's going to happen. And it's the pain of the financial stress. And it's the pain of having to be cared for and being a taker when you're so used to being a giver. In short, when one is sick, it's like living with surround sound, just of pain instead of music. And although I usually feel very strongly that working on trusting in our Creator is the best way to solve every problem, but for some people that are going through a lot of pain, when they hear that it's really coming from Hashem, it can actually make it a lot worse for them. Because at least if it was just a coincidence, then it's unfortunate, but nobody is out to get me. But now that I know that it's coming from him, I can't help but feel angry because I don't want him to be doing this to me. As someone recently told me that I know that eventually I'm gonna get some reward for this, but quite frankly, I don't care about getting reward in the future. Right now, it is just too painful and I want it to stop. So I want to offer you a perspective to help you see a clear purpose in any pain that you may have so that at least you'll never think that anyone is out to get you. See, if I would offer you one billion dollars, if you would go through one hour of pain, most of you wouldn't just agree to the deal. You would actually be extremely happy to have the opportunity. Now, what about one week of pain for one trillion dollars? You could all think about yourself, but every single person has a cutoff point to how much pain they'd be willing to put up with for one trillion dollars. And even if part of the deal was that you wouldn't know about the reward until after you received the pain, we would all theoretically want to be forced through a certain amount of pain to be able to eventually receive a trillion dollars. And we'd be very happy about it too. Now here's the facts. One trillion dollars, which means a lifetime of every possible pleasure that you could imagine, does not equal even one second of pleasure in the next world. And the next world does not just last for one second or a day, a month, a year. It keeps going on forever and ever and ever of endless, perfect, flawless pleasure. And so if you think about it logically, percentage-wise, based on how much pain you'd be happy to put up with for one trillion dollars, then you should for sure be happy to put up with a lifetime of pain for a forever and ever of endless pleasure. And logically, you should be happy about it too. Now you may ask, okay, but what does he gain by me being in pain? And the answer is that of course he doesn't enjoy watching you in pain. Rather, he's doing it for you so that you can have a massive opportunity to keep trusting him, not just that it's from him, but that it's all for your best. And that is the key to your treasure of a forever of endless pleasure. And so if you are going through any sort of pain right now, then you should really try to put a system in place to remind you at least once a day that not only is it from him, but that it's for your best. And that really every second of pain that you put up with is like trillions of dollars being deposited into your heavenly bank account. And if you trust in him enough, then you'll have earned enough reward already. And then just like he's the one, who gave you the pain in the first place, he'll be the one to get rid of it as well.